Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Recipe Tales. I made two a dal and string beans with carrot goes very well. I'm not adding any potatoes because I want to cut down the carbs. So it's just going to be string beans with carrot and to add color, I will add a little bit of uh, cherry tomatoes. And this is a wonderful combo of dal, rice and string beans with carrots. So shall we begin? Today we're going to cook a Gujarati dish mixed vegetables. It is suitable for the Jains and the Vaishnavas and the Buddhists because I'm not using any garlic. So let's start off by using all the herbs that we require over here. Now I'm going to start with the oil. Okay, so we can always uh, pull out our weighing scale. Okay, right, so here I'm going to put about 15 grams to... Right, so that's 15 grams of oil. That's my general take of it. 15, 16, one gram or the other doesn't matter. And then the next part of it is that I'm going to add in some carom seed. So carom seed is good for digestion. So I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of carom seed. And I'm going to add my mustard powder, about say half a teaspoon. These are the basic uh, way of cooking, uh, Gujarati way of cooking. And then we also have our esofitida. So a pinch of esofitida, when you're not using garlic, uh, it's good to use esofitida because that will take away the indigestions when you're using beans. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to infuse this. So we're going to do three minutes so that it'll heat up very well at 120 degrees. And on spoon more. So generally in most Indian cooking, whether it's South Indian or North Indian, we heat up the oil. But in this case, because we are using powdered mustard stuff and all those stuff, uh, we just infuse it as the, heat, as the oil gets heated up at 120. Once it's infused, then we will add in our vegetables. Uh, this is string beans I'm using. It's also called long beans. And there's most beans that are green, like French beans and all, we always use carom seed to take off the wind when you are digesting. So sometimes, you know, you, you burp, that's because there's some built up of uh, wind or you have uh, fluctuants. Now that helps if you have the esophytida and you have the carom seed infused in the vegetable then your digestion is very simple and easy so it's a happy tummy in fact you get a happy tummy so that's what i'm sort of explaining to you that why if you're having a plant-based diet it's important to understand the kind of herbs that you're going to use to help you in your digestion process So if you can notice that it's really heated up very well. You can see the red color over here. That means to say our oil is well heated. And then the next stage I'm going to do is that I'm going to add in my chopped of uh, string beans that we have. And I'll just throw it in. You can hear the sound, the sizzling sound. Next is I'm going to add some carrots to give a little bit more color to my food. Uh, I love, I'm an Asian born, brought up, so I love to have some color in my food. And, you know, growing up in Malaysia, mixing up with all my Chinese and Malay friends, I'm adding some mustard, not mustard, but uh, turmeric powder, sorry about that. And I'm going to add some chili powder 
Now this is uh, Kashmiri chili. Again, it's not spicy. I can't take too much of spices. So, but go ahead. If you need to have more spices, go ahead and add more spices to it. And then I'm going to have half a teaspoon of salt added to it. And here we're going to do some steam clean, uh, steam cooking. So I'm going to do about say four minutes. Uh, no, let me do six minutes and I'm going to go to Varoma and I'm going to go into slow stir fry. So your string beans has got a little bit of moisture so if it's very dry just add about two tablespoons of water and then when you throw it in there's enough of water to steam cook it. So it's much more uh, healthy to have a steam cooked vegetable where the nutrients are locked in. So we have already done our, it's half cooked right now. The next part of it is that I'm going to add my coriander and cumin powder to it. And my cherry tomatoes to give more color. And I'm going to stir fry it. I'm not adding any brown sugar, I think most Gujaratis will add uh, if you want to have a little bit more on the sweeter side so but I'm not having, having that so I'm just going to cook it for 2 minutes and I'm going to go at 120 and so again I go on a spur, spoon mode so when we are using the spoon mode uh, we are gently stir frying, it's not cutting it but if your blades go anything higher than spoon mode it will definitely cut your vegetables so be very careful when you're still frying vegetables to always remain at spoon mode or you can go at the reverse mode too so therefore if you want to do reverse mode you just press that part the green part and it, it will turn anti-clockwise so it's as simple as that and we will allow it to cook and then I will serve with a chapati with some rice, with some dal and a salad. So this is a whole meal. Most Gujarati homes will have a tour dal with one sabji like mixed vegetable. And then you will have your rice, you will have your salad and you will have your pickle. So this is a complete meal in most Gujarati homes. And I grew up eating like that, whereby the protein, the carbs, the vegetables, the minerals, etc. Everything is intact and of course we finish off with either a bowl of yogurt or buttermilk. So that's how we, the plant-based uh, eating habits have been developed from childhood and today I'm showcasing you how to eat uh, much more healthy with less oil which can be done in this thermomics Instead of putting 20 grams, you can come up to 15 grams and these vegetables can serve 4 people, 3 people, it all depends on the quantity of vegetables that you like to have in your meal. The more vegetables you have, the less hungry you feel. So you can cut down your chapatis or cut down your rice, but top it up with more vegetables, top it up a little bit more of yogurt, top it up with more of raw salads and there you have, there you go, it's done. Let me show you just how beautiful it looks. Here it is, my mixed sabji. Look at the color and look at the green, red and orange color that you have.
Our vegetables have been stir fried, the string bean with carrots and tomatoes, which is really uh, very crunchy and nice to eat. I've not overdone it. And generally, uh, the combinations that you get to eat is with your chapatis, as I have laid it out here. So this is a full Gujarati meal, this plate of it. So you have your chapati, you have your dal, you have a stir fried veggie, you have your yogurt, and a salad and a pickle to go along with it. So you have all the parts of it that is good for our health. I hope this has been really useful to you. Until then, I'll see you in the next episode. My name is Sushila Patel. This is the Recipe Tales, recipes with a modern twist.